Hey guys, what's up? This is Renan Rosa from EntertainingEvil.com. As you can see, I need to shave. I need to shave badly. Um, that's just one of those wonderful facts of life that we have here in this world. Things go wrong, and you decide you're going to fix them, and you do that by not shaving. So, uh, yeah. When I shave, you'll know things are a little bit better. Anyhow, uh, today's releases, well, not today, but this week, uh, Zombieland. Zombieland on DVD and Blu-ray. Absolute fucking must-buy. That movie is hysterical. Um, some people may have said in the past that it is a rip-off of Shaun of the Dead, which is completely off-base. Shaun of the Dead is a great movie. I love Shaun of the Dead. But it's a very different film from Shaun of the Dead. Um, Zombieland is actually, to me, more of a comedy. Less of a horror. Uh, Shaun of the Dead has characters that you really give a shit about. You know, you feel bad when... Sean's mom dies, you feel bad when his friends die, and stuff like that, um, with the exception of the prick with the glasses. So, it is a little more serious to me, um, never mind the fact that it's way fucking gorier. I mean, the visceration scene in Shaun of the Dead is, is on par with something that George Romero would have done in his earlier career. Um, Zombieland is just straight up balls to the wall comedy. I mean, there, there's some tender moments here and there which you need to make you give a shit about the characters at all. But it's just a very funny, fast-paced, uh, goofy kind of film. And uh, the humor is... It's not entirely unique, but it's great. It's perfect for the genre. The whole rule set is something new to, you know, the survival of the films. You know, um, the main... Jesse Eisenberg's character is just a paranoid freak who basically has developed a role system to allow him to survive in, bomb in zombie land, and uh, obviously the roles work for him, because if not, he'd be dead. So, I'm not going to say anything about some other stuff that happens in the film, uh, who dies, who lives, or anything like that, or the fact that there is a fantastic cameo in the film, I'm not going to ruin it. I know plenty of people have talked about it online, but I think if you've yet to see Zombieland, you should experience it fresh and not know too much of what's going on uh, beforehand. But it's definitely lots of fun. Um, I was on, actually on the set of the film while I was still working at UGO.com, and I couldn't wait to see the movie from the few clips that they showed us back then. And uh, it really held up. It definitely held up. It's one of those films where it's like, you look at what, was being made and and how it was going and you really learned to appreciate that this was going to be something that was going to be interesting, unique, and fun. Even though, it, I mean, zombies and comedies, there's been so many of them already, you would expect it to be just the usual fucking run-of-the-mill bullshit. And it really isn't. It's lots of fun. So, um, if you have yet to see Zombieland, uh, you should definitely either pick up the DVD or Blu-ray or at least give it a Netflix, because you're going to like it, and you're probably going to want to buy it, and you're going to want to keep it, you're going to tell Netflix that you lost the disc when you try to send it back. And I know you're going to do that, because it's worth it. Enjoy.